McPherson Square is home to 56 of our unhoused neighbors. The federal park is set to be cleared Wednesday due to increased violence at the site, including 30 arrests and three deaths in the last 11 months. This site, you know, had at its peak 75 people. Deputy Mayor of Health and Human Services, Wayne Turnage. It was getting out of hand and we had to do something. The deputy mayor says so far nine people have been placed in housing. And while the city intends to place the rest in transitional or bridge housing, challenges remain. There are 1,500 people in the shelters. Some of those people have been waiting for housing for some years, certainly many months. They can't focus all their resources on persons who are living outside because then that breaks sort of the commitment they've they have with the folks who are in shelters. We want to connect our residents um, to to shelter or housing. But D.C. leaders are having trouble making those connections because the Department of Human Services is down caseworkers. And that has slowed down the pace at which people are moving into housing. The DHS director and the mayor opening the new Ethel building near RFK. The 100 permanent supportive units are all but accounted for, including two for people from the McPherson encampment. And herein lies the problem. Deputy Mayor Turnage says 50 percent of the city's public housing stock is currently offline or in disrepair forcing district leaders to rely on new developments for housing. But new buildings take time. So will cleaning up the public housing units and fulfilling the promise of homes for 800 people waiting for housing vouchers. Solving that problem will go a long ways to, towards reducing future large-scale encampments. Right, we don't want to be in this situation again with such a large-scale encampment that we have to force these people out and scramble to get everyone in homes, but it will be a long-term investment that the city has to make. Council member at large Christina Henderson oversees the deputy mayor of Health and Human Services because she's on the health committee and the council. She sent me a statement today saying she will continue working with the agencies and hopefully speed up the housing placement process. So yeah, we got to get better at this one here. Delia, thank you so much.